Welcome to A Quest for Metal. Today we're ranking Anal Nafrax album in Darkenment. And you're thinking, what the fuck? You never review shit. Well, on this special occasion, you know, I'm breaking the rules. I'm coming out of hibernation for this fucking album in particular, because it's just risen me from the dead. And yeah, it's brought reviews back to life. So congratulate Anal Nafrax in Darkenment for being that fucking good. Now I'm gonna go track through track every track on this album, I'm going to give you my thoughts on each track, tell you what's good about them, and what's good about them, because <laughs> there's no fucking bad songs here, and then I'll give you my score at the end, it's going to be a little different to usual, so hold on to your asses, and almost let's get started, but first, let me know down below, what did you think of this album, did you love it, did you hate it, what's your favourite album by these guys, and where does this rank in their discography? For me, at the moment, you know, before I even get started with the review, it's going to be pretty fucking high. So, let's get started with the first song, the title track, In Darkenment. So this first song is one of the best first songs in a long goddamn time. You know, it's one of the first singles that dropped with the music video, with all the pig lemmings just jumping off the cliff, and it has very a political meaning. But, you know, for me, so long as it sounds good, you know, lyrics aren't my cup of tea, to be honest. I'm very simple. I like riffs, I like melody, and I like screams. Luckily, this song has riffs, melodies, and screams, so it ticks all the fucking boxes for me, and also it, the lyrical content happens to be poignant and very, you know, apt for this day and age. You know, very apt, but so, you know, that's an extra tick at the side. I don't really care about it that much, for me personally, but a lot of people do. So that's, you know, it's four ticks out of three. So it's already fucking good. This song, it's intense, it's crazy, and it has so many memorable parts, like the fucking guitar on the pre-chorus, just before it hits the chorus and that beautiful melody kicks in. Oh my god, the guitar is so good there. And then just the line of dialogue when he sings, fuck you if you think I'm wrong. That is one of the best vocal deliveries on the album. And there's another one, you know, and it's one of the best vocal deliveries on this entire discography from these guys. I love that line. Love it to bits. And I'm going to keep using it because it's just stuck in my head. This is one of the songs that stuck in my head. Catchy chorus, amazing melodies. It's heavy and it's catchy. Just like most of this album. So fuck yes. 10 out of 10 for this song. Then we go even more intense with Thus Always the Tyrants, which ramps it up to 11. You got faster fucking drumming, crazy fucking guitar, and more mental shrieking, bit less, you know, catchy, you know, it's not single, it's one of those kind of just fucking mental songs that you get on Anal's albums, and it's fucking awesome. If you love that shit, you know, you love stuff like anything from Codex Necro, you know, in the Constellation of Black Widow, anything like that, you'll love the always to the Tyrants. It's crazy, the shrieking is intense, it's an all-round absolute bloody banger. And then that leads us on to The Age of Starlight, which I absolutely hated when I first heard it. I thought it was the worst Anal Nafrak song. I really did. I thought it was the worst song they've ever done. And then I kept listening to it. And I was like, mm, still don't think it's the best, but it's growing on me. And then I kept listening to it. And now it's probably my favorite, probably my second favorite song on the album. Yep, it's my second favorite song on the album. And my first favorite song is another melody heavy song so I they just they're just doing softer melodies so goddamn well and this is one of those kind of softer melody songs it still has crazy screaming in but it just incorporates that fucking chorus which is it's a bit softer for them but it works so goddamn well and it has another catchy line in just the chorus where it's like a thousand cucks oh begin to crow oh my god I'm gonna be singing that constantly constantly I adore this song now uh, every time I'm just driving to work or doing anything, that line just pops up into my head. And I'm just kind of like making like a sandwich and it's just like a thousand cucks. I'm going to be at a funeral and be singing it. It's that goddamn catchy. This, you know, if you don't like this at first, because I know a lot of people consider this one the worst on the album. Um, and I did at first, but now, no, 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 no. It's one of the fucking best. So keep giving it more love. Keep giving it more listens and it will, it will seep into your brain and you'll love it. The next song is my favourite song, Libidinous. 
a pig with cocks in its eyes, masturbating to the end of our world. That's why I love this song. That fucking chorus, where it's so King Diamond esque, so fucking operatic. This is the catchiest fucking song on the album for me personally. Catchiest song, greatest melodies, amazing solos. But that that line, <laughs> fuck, this album's amazing. Can you tell I enjoyed this album? Can you tell I fucking enjoyed this album? This is the piece de la resistance, the best song. But the others are still fucking fantastic. But for me, this one, this one, this one. I mean, pig with cocks in its eyes. The, yeah. Fucking listen to it. Next up, Beyond Words, from kind of a, a heavy but catchy couple of songs to the most mental song Anal has ever fucking made. Yeah, that's right. I think it's more mental than anything on Codex and Ectro, anything on the Black Constellation, anything from Hell is Empty. This is the most mental song ever fucking made. From the fucking intro, which kind of reminds me of one of the songs, I forgot the name of it because my brain's a sieve, where he's like, go and kill yourself. But this one is like, he sings like, you fuck face, and then it starts the song, intense as fuck, but as soon as they say that, as soon as they say fuck face, it goes into like the funniest kind of screaming ever, because it's kind of like, ooh, ooh, it's like ooze instead of screams, and it it's, it's fucking amazing. It's unique, it's amazing, and then they go mental with the fucking vocals. This song is balls to the walls intense. Intense as fuck. Dave's, Dave's vocals, crazy. Mix, fucking drumming, <laughs> mix fucking guitar, drumming, everything else. Fucking awesome. If you want heavy, check the song out. It is a fucking face melter. And the ooh, like, it's so intense, it feels, like, the sound of this, I can describe it as this. It's gutter trolls fucking in an orgy. That's this fucking song. And, you know, think about that next time you hear it. Next up is a more industrial flaring uh, song, Feeding the Deaf Machine. Such a catchy chorus. This album is filled with catchy choruses. This is no different. This feels like it could have been on uh, uh, Vanitas or Hall of the Law. It has that kind of sound. I love that it's kind of like a culmination of a career with this album with different sounds from different eras. You've got the intense shit, you've got the melodic shit, you've got the more industrial shit. It's perfect. This song, catchy as all hell, bit less heavy, but still, you know, it's an owl, so it's still gonna be heavy, but it's just, yeah, more an industrial flair, and Feeding the Death Machine is catchy as hell, the chorus is great. Thumbs up! Next, create art, though the world may perish. The most unique song on the fucking album. It, again, like um, Age of Starlight ends, it's kind of softer, but it's just, oh my god. Oh my god, it, it's so much different and so unique to them. The choruses kind of feels like Iron Maiden. It feels like something from like, Jamie already said it on his fucking review, Same sounds like something from Brave New World, because we were listening to it together, and we both said the same thing. It's like, this sounds like something from fucking Brave New World, or, you know, Matter of Life and Death, or any of those fucking albums. Sounds like Maiden. He, he's channeling his inner Iron Maiden. I love it. I love the fucking epic power metal -y kind of vibe this song is getting. They're able to have a song which has melodic as fuck, with singing like that, and make it heavy as hell, so again, love this song. Singularity is next, and this is the song of the album is my least favourite. This is my least favourite. I, I do think the guitar melody is fucking kick-ass. The melody in this song is kick-ass. But as a whole, compared to every other song on this album, this one is the least catchy for me. You know, and that doesn't mean it's bad, because Anal's not you know, Anal's not supposed to be catchy, blah, blah, blah. Fuck off. Anal's always been catchy. All the songs are catchy. Fucking Virus Bomb, fucking Genetic News, both catchy. In the Constellation and the Black Widow, that's fucking catchy. You know, all the songs are catchy. But yeah, this one, just to me, all the other songs have kind of something interesting and new about them. This one just kind of, it's just an Anal song. It's a great Anal song. Nothing wrong with it. It's a great Anal song. It's not as chaotic as Beyond Words. It's not as interesting as create art and it's not as funny as libidinous so it's just kind of in like a this is good so if any of the songs on the album i had to i had to gun to my head take off it'd be this one but it's still fantastic so just nitpicking here second to last punish them and i love when he screams punish them 
and the screaming on this is as fucking intense, as fucking intense as any of the others. This and Beyond Worlds, words is just, it's a, it's a fight to see who's the most fucking mental. That has like the oohs, and this has just an overlapping scream section near the end, which feels like you just walked into a fucking mental asylum, and all the inmates are just fucking hitting each other with, with shit icicles. They've just frozen their own shit, and they're just stabbing each other to death in some kind of blood orgy. That's what this song is. Crazy as fuck. Vocals intense as hell. Guitar drums awesome. It's it's uh it's another fucking face melter. And then it comes to the last song, Requiem, which is a builder of a song. It's one of the epic songs. It's more symphonic than a lot of the others. Again, very new and interesting, like Create Art. So I love the experimentation on these songs, and I love that there's some old stuff on these on this album as well, like the crazy shit, the industrial shit, the melodic shit, and then the new stuff. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. The whole end section of this with the guitar melody. You know, merging beauty with bleakness and craziness into this perfect package. Amazing song. One of my favourites of all fucking time by them. One of the best ending songs by them. Kind of similar to Of Horror and the Black Shoals, if that's what it's called. If I remember from Hole of the Law, I might be wrong on that. So, you know, I'm just going by fucking memory. And also um, Metaphor of the Dead from Vanitas, has that kind of similar feel, but this one's better. This one's just fucking better, in my opinion. The melody's better. It's a great closer to the album. And that's where I leave you. That is my track, basically, run through for the album. They're all fucking good, you know? Of course, they're, they're all fucking good. Um, the album as a whole flows really nicely. Every song has flair. Every song is interesting. So my score for this one, um, yeah, I'm doing it a bit differently now. I'm not going to give stores. I'm not going to give anything out of 10, out of 5. I think that's fucking lame. I hate scores. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say an album's good or an album's bad. You know? An album's good means you go buy it. An album's bad means burn it in a fucking fire. Of course this one's good. So go buy it. Support the artist. Buy this fucking album. And wear the shirt with the pigs with the cocks in their eyes. Because it's, you know, it's the best fucking art of the year, so go buy it and tattoo it on your face, because it'll, it'll be funny. So that was my review for In Dark and Meant by Anal Nafrak. Let me know what you thought of the album down below, and we'll see you again on another Quest for Metal.